Greek word for return is nostos. Algos means suffering. So nostalgia is the suffering caused by an unappeased yearning to return. For Milan Kundera, nostalgia or saudade or ignoranza signifies the impossibility to return to the homeland, to one's own country. Who cares about one's own country except to curse its degradation? Better the English version. Homesickness, to become sick from staying away from home. Perhaps it is the sickness that the recurrent presence of houses signals in this painting. There are windows, doors, buildings, and figures that only half inhabit them. Granted that the house is the first ob object children draw, but I stopped being a child a long time ago. In any case, I never drew as a child. From these windows, nobody looks out. If anything, one looks in as if indeed driven by yearning to go back. But their doors open on emptiness. Because this is the fear, to find out that however long you look, in the end, you won't find anything. Perhaps nothing can be recovered. Memory, we trust in her. Freud told us that nothing is ever lost. Everything is stored. It is on this that he built his house of dreams. In fact, memory went her own way. Some things she kept, but others she binned. At random. In fact, it's worse. She didn't bend them, she destroyed them, or tore them to pieces, like a proper office shredder. Which means that not even by emptying your trash can can you find again or put together again what you lost. Houses are spaces, but they are time as well, and those two are married, as they are in the psyche. It's not by chance that Jung, describing a dream, wrote that the house is an image of the psyche. The deeper I went, he said, the more alien and the darker the scene became. In the cave, I discovered remains of a primitive culture. That is, the world of the primitive man within myself. A world which can scarcely be reached or illuminated by consciousness. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed. Dial. Please check the number and dial again. To Bachelard, who of the house remains the poet, the image of the house becomes the topography of our intimate being, a tool for the analysis of the human soul, a trellis on which to hang our memories. Not only our memories, but also our lapses, our voids are lodged. Also, our unconscious needs to lodge itself and to give shape to a yearning for home and a homesickness. For many, it is a self-portrait that gives access to the soul. But why not the house? Its images are in us, as we're in them. In La Seine, the stage is empty. Because in the theater of the past, there is our memory. Characters are frozen in stills. Do you think you can know yourself in time? In fact, all we know is a sequence of fixations in the spaces of the being's stability. Our unconscious is lodged and hiding in its primitive homes. Better to look for it in its countless alveoli where space contains compressed time. That is what the space is for. 
Nostalgia goes beyond the individual psychology. At first glance, it is a longing for a place, but actually it's a yearning for a different time. The time of our childhood, the slower rhythms of our dreams. It's rebellion against the modern idea of time, the time of history and progress the desire to obliterate history and turn it into private or collective mythology, to revisit time like space, the refusal to surrender to the reversibility of time that plagues the human condition. Nostalgia goes beyond returning to a place. It rather lodges itself in a time. To me, the time is the bicycle, with our four cousins sitting in front of the house, but also in the distant sea. And my father and my mother, very young, before I ever met them, is photoshot on top of the mountain, but transported, pasted on top of a house. For one of its doors, my mother is trying to catch your attention. One house hosts the Bauhaus artists who walked away from Edmund Colleen's photograph. They came to kill the time and are sitting on the windowsills, waiting for the Nazis to rush in and throw their dreams out of the window. We four cousins, my father, my mother, the Bauhaus artists, all figures breathe in the slow rhythms of dreams. For nostalgia is always housed in algea, desire and loss in progress, always hindered by memory. It temporalizes space. It cherishes fragments of memory. Memory that lets you it down, but always surprises space. you. It, it cherishes, cherishes fragments of memory. Memory, memory that, that lets you down, down but always surprises you.